Hi everybody and welcome back. Uh, excited to be back out at sea. I left uh, Santa Cruz to Tenerife. Uh, my course will take me to Port uh, to uh, Madeira, east of Madeira, and then I'll sail north for as far as, as long as I can, uh, and then uh, cut across for Portugal, for Porto Mau in Portugal, where I'm going to winter the boat. Uh, well, for, for a few months. So, um, uh, plenty to see and do. Uh, there's good weather, bad weather, there's all kinds of mix of everything along the way. So, um, uh, stay tuned. I'm going to break this. I'm going to break this into two episodes. Uh, uh, one part up as far as Madeira, and one part then from Madeira to Porto Mount, because there's a lot of nice footage. All right. Yacht Waxwing calling uh, Port Authority looking for permission to exit Santa Cruz Marina. Over. Yes, okay. You have a permission. Do you call to Channel 10 to Tenerife Port Could you repeat the channel? Over. Yes, you have permission, but uh, do you need to call Channel 10 to Tenerife Port Control? Oh, okay. Muchas gracias, señor. Okay, so. Okay, so I have permission to leave the port. If you don't give permission, it can be up to an 800 pound fine. 800 euro fine, so um, all good. Goodbye, Santa Cruz. Uh, fresh day to be leaving, but I know that uh, it eases off by tomorrow. Uh, I'm also in the acceleration zone between uh, Gran Canaria, which you can just barely see in the, in the distance behind me. You can see the outline of the island. So, a beautiful day, a great day to be heading off and to be uh, going back out to sea again. I couldn't be happier. Uh, life, life at sea is so much easier. You, even when things kind of, you know, I don't know, you, you, you're, you're in control of what's happening. So. Uh, when um, you're at the mercy of other people, I'm sure. So here you see me preparing uh, Waxwing to leave Santa Cruz Marina in Tenerife. What a beautiful location, a lovely time there. Uh, made lovely friends along the way, really good friends. My friend Curtis, Kate and Roxy on Sailing Sweet Rook. And they, they made this video with their drone. So here I'm leaving the marina. Uh, just beautiful, lovely staff, lovely friendly place. I sail out then through the commercial port um, and then out to the open water and then it's just myself and waxwing against the elements for uh, eight, nine hundred nautical miles to Portimao in Portugal via uh, Madeira. So it was a beautiful trip. I uh, hope you like watching the footage. Wax swing out. So it looks like that ship is moving. The one with the stern light on and the, the smokestack. So I'd probably best to go in behind him. Uh, rainy day still in Tenerife. It's been raining and blowing hard the last three or four days. Magnificent island, I loved it. I was lucky enough to get a spin around it. My car.
So I'm flying along and uh, steering uh, is A1, thank God, working perfectly. So uh, uh, looking forward to a good sail now to, towards Portugal. I don't think I'm going to stop in Madeira if I don't have to. And uh, uh, I, might, I might get lucky and go direct to, uh, to Portugal. So that'll be cool, getting uh, closer to home all the time, which is nice. Uh, I hadn't intended to go this way, but now that I am, I'm happy. So that's lovely. You can just barely see Tenerife in, the, in the, the background. I thought I might be able to see the, the smokestack of La Palma, but you can't. Uh, it's a bit cloudy today. and uh, So a good, good fresh breeze. We're clipping along at seven and eight knots uh, towards, well, slightly west of Madeira. Uh, there's going to be a big system coming along there in two days' time. So I, I want to get there as fast as I can. Uh, and catch that it's going to push me uh, towards Portugal a uh, bit of a gamble but anyway uh, I didn't want to spend another week waiting in Madeira for weather now I, I can always stop there if I have to but uh, so man it's so good to be back out to see Everton working beautifully uh, waxwing in a lovely groove happy to be out let's have a look because I'm, I'm trying to get, Keep her moving as fast as possible. I got full main up. Uh, stay sailing, Yankee. And she's moving nice. Seven, eight knots into the wind. Happy days. Still loving my new sails from Rolly Tasker. God, I love them. Transform my boat. The trusted Aries sailing us along beautifully. Not a bother. Working away tirelessly. Hundred and twenty degrees. I'd like to be doing 340, 360, but that's as high as I can go. So not bad. <laughs> Sun's just gone down the first night. So I come up on deck, it's uh, half one in the morning, just to have a look around and look what I find. <laughs> oh, it's so lovely to be out at sea again. I don't know if you can see the stars. The 
There's just millions of them. And of course the moon. Beautiful. So everything working nicely with the steering and I must tidy up the ropes. Just a nice angle on the wind. Pointing up as, as high as I can go, any, any higher and she'll slow her stall. So now she likes this. Got all the decks cleaned yesterday. <laughs> all, all the black ash was washed off. Uh, there was lots of spray and waves coming up on deck yesterday. It's more pleasant today. It's just a slightly less wind today which is nice so all the black ash from the volcano is gone most of it anyway it's a so after looking at the forecast I downloaded um, over the satellite uh, on predict wind I downloaded uh, my, my today's forecast so it looks like I'll have light winds tomorrow, as, as I knew before I left. And once I get through them and, and close on uh, the south side of Madeira, I should pick up uh, strong, <laughs> strong um, westerlies. It's a bit of a gamble, but uh, it looks like a, a good, strong system to push me. Uh, there's a west wind, so it's going to push me right to Portugal. Well, most of the way to Portugal, fairly fast, I would think. Whoa! <laughs> a big wave just came over um, I got a shower so um, so that's the plan and uh, after I'll probably run right through the islands um, between Madeira and uh, and the one to the right of it I can't think of its name San I forget Beautiful morning. <laughs> I had to come in and check the chart because it was annoying me. Porto Santa is the island to the east of Madeira. That's the one I was actually going to stop at uh, if I was stopping. Um, so I don't think I will be stopping. Anyway, so Porto Santo. Just got up um, my alarm set which is just as well and this target here is, is called Club Med 2 he's coming up behind me at 15 knots which is kind of scary so I better keep an eye on that fella hopefully he'll go to my port so I just spoke with the, uh, the Club Med 2 I called them on the VHF and they were very very professional very courteous and said that uh, they're going to pass one kilometer, uh, which isn't a lot <laughs> when you see the size of this. So anyway, it's always very reassuring to, to, to talk with, with the uh, the ship and find out what their intentions are and uh, very professional. So he's going to pass me one kilometer, but when they're coming up at you at 15 and 16 knots, that's, you know, that's pretty quick. So it, I spoke to him more so that he'd know that I'm there than to see what's happening, you know. So uh, that's good. I can see that he's adjusted course actually. So then what I do when this situation is like this, because everybody asks me this. So what I do is uh, I make a cup of tea and I get a few biscuits. <laughs> I sit and watch uh, to make sure that everything, uh, you know, but what I, what I do watch more than, more than the screen is I keep my head outside. There's nothing better than, you know, keeping an eye on, on the ship itself. So let's have a look. Of mid to um, the 1.7 nautical mile CPA, and they're doing 15.4 knots. 
so they'll be on top of me, you know, faster than you can. You, and 6.4 nautical miles away, so they're going to be, yeah, very quick. I just noticed as well, half one in the morning and the things you'll be looking at. I just noticed as well, it's 4,400 meters deep here. <laughs> that's pretty deep. 4,000, that's four, over four, four and a half kilometers deep. That's what would happen now had I stayed asleep. Uh, and that's only the iPad alarm. The, the, the Raymarine alarm will come on very shortly now as well, which will deafen us. So this is the Club Med 2. She's uh, one kilometer to my starboard. I like a floating city. I don't know if you can see this on the camera. Uh, it's only just blurs. Oh yeah, you can. She's got four masts. She's a sailing cruise ship. And she might do some, look at that. <laughs> a floating city. So that's why I called him in the VHF, because he, he, he wouldn't even notice me. Beautiful moonlit night. Look at that, wow. So anyway, very courteous captain, and, you know, he said he passed me one kilometer, and that's what he is, exactly one kilometer. I'd love to see her in the daylight sailing. Just having my Wheelabix. Uh, we're 40 miles southeast of uh, Madeira. I can see them. I'll show you the islands in a minute. It'd be so lovely to stop there, but I can't. I'm on a different mission. But uh, when you see them, and it's, it's a fine day. It's a very fine day today. Uh, so I'm going to pass. I'm going to pass to the east of them, which means I'm probably going to get uh, uh, light winds, but I'll be in the shelter of the islands. So I'm, I'm, I'm giving them a kind of a wide berth, but it'd be nice to see them at the same time. So here's the islands of Madeira. Uh, the main island of Madeira and to the right of it, Porto Santo. Not sure if you could see them. I'll, I'll try to zoom in. Ah, yeah. So as I said, it'd be nice to stop there, but not this time. Uh, I'm videoing these now from far away because there's... Uh, system coming there that's going to give us a lot of wind and rain so the visibility will drop so a beautiful day you can actually you can see I can see the, the system myself there those dark clouds but uh, that's okay too uh, strong wind once it's not too strong once it's in the right direction isn't so bad so I'm expecting strong winds it's forecast from the west uh, I think about four five and six so that's, that's okay to get me to Portugal and then I think just as I approach Portugal well 100 miles off I think the winds go north so it, it's too far away to tell but um, a beautiful day here beautiful Ooh. My favourite seat in the boat. Uh, you can see, I don't know if it's too far away, you can see Madeira. Uh, the main island is, is in the background. That's, uh, I don't know, it looks beautiful. I'd, lo I'd love to visit it sometime, but uh, there was a, a boat in trouble over there. There's the, the pan pan on the, on the radio on the VHF that their gearbox has gone, a sailing yacht. Uh, I offered assistance, but I'm five hours away, believe it or not. It, that looks close enough, but it's uh, it's, it's, it's five hours. It'll be upwind as well. But uh, hopefully he gets a tow. It was a German man. and 
Uh, I called to tell him I could hear his radio anyway, to, at least he'd know that someone can hear him. So hopefully he gets help. You'd uh, hate to see anyone stuck at sea. Uh, conditions have eased off. It's, uh, I'll show you. I reefed the, um, the Yankee, which is the front sail. A lot of people ask me what the sails are. Obviously this is the main sail. The very front one is the Yankee. Sometimes I call it the, the Genoa. And the one that's rolled up, that's, that's the, uh, the stay sail. So the wind piped up quite a lot earlier. I suppose it was running around the islands. You can see the islands probably better now. So uh, I was doing seven and eight knots. So I'm still doing seven with the, with the Genoa <laughs> or the Yankee uh, furled or, or rolled in. Some of it rolled in. So conditions are lovely. The swell is down probably because I'm I'm probably in the shelter of of, uh, of the islands. You get you get quite a shadow from them, wind and waves. But uh, hey, look at that! What? Can you see that? Like a pallet floating in the water. See it? Or a log? That's the shit. Now you'd be hitting. Uh, anyway. <laughs> yeah, after zooming in, it looks like a pallet or a, definitely a big long piece of timber. Anyway, you don't want to be hitting that at sea, definitely. It's actually amazing what you do see floating out here. Uh, like if you hit if you hit a big log, you're in trouble. You'd probably go into the hull, but I suppose the chances are very slim. But uh, you do see a lot of a lot of styrofoam and uh, horrible old stuff like that floating around. I suppose the timber will eventually break up and and. Um, it's biodegradable, isn't it? But anyway, I love sitting up here. I could sit here all day, all bloody day. Uh, and the weather is nice, actually. It warmed up. It was 26 degrees today, so that's nice. And uh, it was 30 leaving um, uh, Tenerife, so it's quite hard to sleep in that. Uh, and you can't leave the hatches open, obviously, because you're going to get water in, and that's the last thing you want—the salt water inside. It never dries. So, <laughs> I, I suppose I don't have to tell you that I'm happy. <laughs> God, uh, uh, I remember my dad, God be good to him, he'd always say when, when he was on shore, no, when he was sailing he missed the land, but when he was on land he missed the sea very much, even more so, you know. I think I got that wrong. No, I got it right, I think. But there's something just beautiful about sitting here and and being in, in control of your own destiny you know you got to work hard you really do you work hard and keep everything running right keep checking rechecking i'm constantly going over things checking this and checking that or uh, or all the shrouds tight or you know but that's nice and you give yourself every chance doing that as well and you know um, now i do nap and and take it easy as well and uh i i even think tonight because it's after calming down I might even watch a movie. I have a couple of movies, not many. Uh, and I might watch one because after I get out of this, the shadow of, of the big islands, uh, it's going to be quite windy the whole way to Portugal. It's going to be uh, fairly... I, they're given, uh, I think, four or six and that. So that's all right, it's behind me, but it won't be as comfortable as it is now. So that's this evening's update from the beautiful Waxwing. Got my sunglasses. <laughs> so, Portugal, that way. I'm going slightly north. Uh, I'm probably heading actually for Lisbon instead of uh, uh, Cabo de Vincent because I'm, I'm probably going to encounter northerly winds. Uh, before I reach the coast of Portugal, so I'd rather be high and have the wind on my beam as, as I then turn east, rather than beating into the, the winds, uh, beating into the wind, I mean, you know, uh, having to go straight into it, so, or tacking into it. So that was an interesting sail uh, as far as Madeira. 
Uh, as I said earlier, I decided to break it, to break it into two parts because uh, yeah, there was just a lot I, I videoed and it'll be it'll be interesting. There's a lot of nice footage, and from here on, then it's going to be uh, I presume heavy weather sailing. So it'll be it'll be uh, some nice footage of that. So thank you everyone for liking and subscribing and watching and tuning in and uh, I hope you enjoyed watching that uh, wax wing out.